It's your boy Roddy Too Good back with another episode of the Pilot Show. <laughs> back at it again. Yo, man, come on, man. If you're new to the video, make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, come join the family. Leave a comment too, man. If you're new, leave a comment. We on the road to 300. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, let's get straight to it. Yo, uh, J. Cole, you're having a bad week, bro. Like, you're having a bad week. First, Maul. We all knew Maul was going to crash out on you. But, dag, yo, uh, Joe Button. <laughs> Joe Button crashing out on you, too. Like, in the, in the same, basically, in 24 hours. Um, That's crazy. Um, But, no, Joe had some uh, amazing points. He was saying, like, well, first of all, a lot of the cast had amazing points as well. They was basically saying, like, yo... What are you what are you uh apologizing to Drake for? And he's like, yo, what is basically saying like yo, and Joe was saying like yo, don't tell me what you would have did if you if you took it back, calling him like, man, listen, if you took it back, just stand on it. Don't come out here telling us it's telling us stories of what you did. If you want peace, just be quiet and want peace. All right, okay, I can see what you're saying. But the J Wan, J Wan, hold on. Homie, he came up with an amazing point. He said, yo, what is he apologizing to Drake for? He said, fam, you dissed Kendrick. You dissed Kendrick. Your song was to Kendrick. You apologized to Kendrick. What are you apologizing to Drake for? See? J. Cole is playing two sides, bro. And that's just what it is. He playing both sides. like, And that is an interesting point that I said, like, yo, fam, what is he apologizing to drake for you know you just don't want to lose that friendship or you just don't want to lose him as like a, a companion or whatever i guess and th this is what i'm saying bro like and joe button he came up with an amazing point as well he said fam let's not act like you never wanted part of this big three conversation let's not act like you was just a regular old rapper in your thing, just rapping your heart out. He was like, no, nigga, you wanted to be the top dude. You wanted to be recognized as the top dude. This is why you call yourself Muhammad Ali. This is why you say, yo, before all of this stuff happened, oh, any dude come, any dude come step to me, I, I'm going to show him, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this in the third. Like, that's, what, that's why people are mad, bro. That's why people are mad. And then... Joe Biden hit the nail on the head, bro. He said, fam, you stressing over relations, over friendships that you never invited. The <clears throat> you stressing, <laughs> my bad. You stressing over friendships to where you never invited these dudes over Thanksgiving. You never invited these dudes for Christmas. Y'all never. These are, he is like basically saying, yo, y'all not really friends, bro. This is business, bro. He said, this is some industry shit. You over here really just trying to keep your industry relationships good and all that stuff. I agree. I agree. That was fine. <laughs> Sam, these people are not real, real. These is not sandbox relationships, bro. These is not. These friendships do not hold the same value as your mans that you grew up with. Like, I, maybe, maybe they can be. They can be, maybe we we're wrong. Maybe these dudes do know your actual name and they have met your family members. Maybe they do know even like children and maybe y'all have like birthdays together and shit like that. But other than that, if it's not like that, then this industry shit, you shouldn't really care. <laughs> like, like if this industry shit, you really shouldn't care about like, Oh, okay. I'm going to lose a friend. I'm going to lose a homie. Okay, fam. He wasn't really your homie for real. He you if you if you wasn't J. Cole the amazing rapper, he would not fuck with you. Like, yo, if you was a J. Cole the regular rapper who was out of North Carolina, he wouldn't fuck with you, bro. Like that's and that's the thing about industry friendships. And that's why people are looking at even Drake a certain way because Drake always talks about industry friendships and how people doing them wrong and songs. And it's like, nigga, why are you so surprised? And not even not even that, Drake has been known to be a shitty friend. 
Drake has been known to have these dudes to be like, Dad, I thought he was cool. Like, this nigga trying to fuck my girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Drake has been known to do that. Like, so it's like, fam, <laughs> like, you stressing over that? Like, yo, but, yo, I get it. I get it. I get what people are saying, man. Like, it, it, it is looking, it, it's looking a certain way, bro. It's looking a certain way. You're trying to play both sides and... To, and that's the fact like yo fam just stand on your two bro like th- it's just hard it's just crazy to see j cole go out like this like he's some chump or something like and that's what really is like messing up his persona to the fans is because it's like fam what the j1 said that shit he and i'm just now realizing he said fam what are you apologizing to drake for because he knows that drake is mad at him because he forced his hand him going back and apologizing and saying, yo, man, I don't want no problem. That's my man's and all that. That forced Drake's hand to say something. Because if Drake didn't say nothing, people would have been like, damn, nigga, this is two, this is two beefs that you backed out. Oh, no, nah, you ass, you this, you that, and third. Like, so he forced. So that's why the apology to Drake. He forced his hand. Not, But not only that, it's like, damn, Drake, I don't want... Drake, I want to still do songs with you. I want to still do this, still do that. and But you playing both sides because you're doing songs with people he don't like, too. So it's like, if he don't like it, fuck him. Like, okay. like, And that that's the part about me. Like, okay, he you can't do songs with niggas he don't like. Nigga, he, don't, he ain't your fucking CEO. Like, yo, what you... What, he, he, you ain't signed to OVO, bro. That's not your that's not your CEO, bro. He's not your manager. Like, fam, it's a lot of yo, I promise you, Drake has done music with people he love and he call his peoples that they don't like either. Like he did a song, I think then he do he did a song with like somebody that don't like Nicki Minaj. He did a song, he did a whole album, which people are rumored that 21 Savage and Future don't have this this amazing relationship. So he's not absolved from that shit either so it's like yo fam what kind of friendship is this to where to be friends with me you gotta you gotta you all my ops gotta be your ops too nigga we ain't friends like that like you know what i'm saying like like and that's a that's a perfect point joe came up with like fam this is these are not sandbox friends these are music friends these are friends strictly based off nigga you're lit and that's a and that's a fact because that's the thing is like rappers when everybody lit everybody having a good time you got the most friends but as soon as you not lit no more niggas is not they not answering your calls them features that before when you was lit you was getting they not coming they not getting cleared <laughs> you can't find you can't find him nowhere bro was uh inviting you to all the spots him like yo hey man it is what it is yo j cole just the, the the asterisk is so big on your career right after this because yo you're moving crazy right now bro and you letting these internet niggas really trick your mind bro like like you're not him like it's so weird bro it's so weird and then not only that we trying to like act like the number one spot in the big three is somehow beneath you like because you're on this like different plateau in life and shit like that bro you said you would you wanted to be the muhammad ali of this shit bro and that's the thing muhammad ali is revered he's one of the greatest but muhammad ali is not undefeated bro a lot of people put muhammad ali on his ass that don't stop him from being great and that's the thing i think cole he probably has issues with like fam you could have jumped out there you could have lot like because i if you wouldn't have kept it, if you would have kept it just rap with uh Kendrick, I think Kendrick would have respect you and he would have went at you. And he he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have took it there with you. Now, the fact that somebody probably came and tapped tapped you on the shoulder, said, "Yo, what was going on?" Cuz for real for real, you jumped out the window, bro. We all knew who the smoke was for. Like this wasn't this wasn't something that was for you, bro. They've been going at each other for years. They've been sneak dissing for years. They've been, it's all, it was all planned for this shit. But you jumped out the window, you put out a song, 
And I promise you, people think, people are thinking that if the song bopped and if the song went, you would have kept going. So is it like, so is it that or is it because people wasn't really resonating with the song? Did you take it back? So people just looking at Cole in a whole different light. Listen, Cole is still one of the best rappers in the game. He's still one of them. But Muhammad Ali, we can't hear that in the raps no more. Yo, if a dude steps to me this, you can't hear that no more. Now you <laughs> like now I'm not I'm not gonna be like Maul. If a nigga come up and he dissing you and stuff and you don't, and you don't have the friendship that you have with him like you have with uh Drake and Kendrick, please serve his ass up because we just we wanna see. We wanna see we wanna see it. So I for me, I'm not never putting yo, go ahead defend yourself if a person step up. And he say something to you. Go ahead, slay his ass, so the whole public can see. Okay, now, nah, all right, cool, 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 cool. Like we can't put you at number one, but we can respect. We can respectfully put you in the three. So <laughs> that's what it is. We want you to go ahead, find some nigga, clean them up, and then <laughs> hopefully you'll get back in the good graces of the people, bro. Because this is craziness, bro. This is craziness, man. But um, yeah, man. Let me know what y'all. Think about it. Make sure you hit that comment. Make sure you hit that like. Hit that bell. Come join the family. I'm out. Peace.